Welcome back to PNC's News Now. Well, it's been 15 days since a hero heroic rescue in Agate was captured on video, and today the man who was pulled from the burning car sat down with the officers who saved his life and News Talk K57's Patty Arroyo. PNC's Betsy Brown shares the highlights of that interview in this report. I saw him in the vehicle. I saw him pinned, and I do not want to witness somebody die in my presence. Not on our watch. Not on our watch. I'm sorry. And I uh, think <laughs> if it wasn't for your, your attitude and uh, reaction, I wouldn't be here. Okay. And my family wouldn't have their, uh, their dad and their grandpa. It was an emotional reunion. As Jay Locke and his daughter Shannon spoke with some of the men who pulled him from his vehicle only moments before it burst into flames earlier this month. Officers Alan Guzman, Daryl Kitigua, and John Camacho joined them on the Patty on the Radio show on News Talk K57 this afternoon. I'm absolutely amazed. I've seen the car. Everything inside the car was, to the car and everything inside was totally destroyed. Uh, it literally became a furnace. Mm. And I, I was able to walk away from the accident because, because of these gentlemen, I was able to walk away from the accident. It was 15 days ago when Locke's car hit a concrete pole knocking him unconscious. He's unable to remember getting into the car that night or the first week and a half after the accident. However, Officer Kittigua recounted the rescue for him, including a moment that made everyone in the studio chuckle. When we were pulling you out, I guess when we tugged on you, that last tug, it brought a little, you know, movement in you. And the first thing that you asked is, where's my keys? Locke expects to be in recovery for the next month, and then he says he plans to retire. Betsy Brown, PNC News. And officers Guzman, Kitigua, Camacho, Brian Gumatautau, and Keon Pangalinen were given the governor's Latte Award for their heroic act, as well as Kenneth Cepeda Lupera, the civilian who called 911 and assisted officers at the scene of the crash.